Hello everybody, I'm Marijntje, I'm a Dutch farmer, in fact I was a Dutch farmer, I'm retired now and I'm just sitting in my chair and talk to the world about the farming uh, things in, in Holland, in the Netherlands. It's a very interesting thing I saw in the newspaper, in the agricultural papers uh, just recently, about the potato farmers. Potato farmers, they grow every year potatoes and they don't know what the price will be. Some of them, of course, they make a contract and they know the price beforehand, but those contracts are nowadays so low, the prices that they offer from the potato processing industry, they are low and of course if you, you can just make a little margin but not, not much. So you are more or less tied by hands and feet uh, to those uh, manufacturers. So what a lot of free potato growers in Holland are now trying to do is to unite and not only unite but also agree with each other how, um, how big acreage they want to plant for example in 2009. You know, they have not yet made their plans completely ready for the new agricultural year, so what they want to do is sit together, try to uh, find out how much each of the potato farmer wants to grow. So, and then they can more or less see how much they have to, for the whole country. They know more or less uh, how many acreage and how many tonnage they will come from. To that system they want to to make the prices better, so they can control the production. It's a difficult task, I tell you, because who will take part? I mean, there are so many potato growers, and as you know, farmers are big individualists. Eh? Uh, one uh, is doing what he wants, and if his neighbor is doing something else, he is not really ready to do the same. But okay, it's a good try, what they want to do. The Dutch potato growers are uniting, they have a couple of meetings to come and they want to, to, to make an inventory to see how much they are growing this year. And they also want to include potato growers in France, in Belgium and in Germany. And even more. It's a huge task. Because you can imagine this is hardly possible to, uh, to realize. But okay, if they try it, it's very good. But there are a few problems. For example, there are, if you don't want to, 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 to participate, what can you do? Can the organization punish that people and say, okay, if you don't take part, we are going to boycott you or we are going to punish you or you have to pay a fine? Impossible, because each, each farmer is free to do what he wants. Then there is another problem. You know, say when the prices, because of this, uh, this, this, this organization, will go to a higher plan, then there will be a lot of farmers, we have seen it in the past also, who have a piece of land free and they see that the prices of potatoes are going high and they think, okay, let me also try. I, I, I don't invest anything in storage or in machinery because I can ask a <coughs> contractor to, to do all the field work and I just sit down, plant the potatoes and see what happens if the price is good. I sell them. If the price is not good, well, okay, no, no problem, no real problem, because I have not invested much in it, so I can just feed those potatoes uh, to the cows or just sell them at any price. So you can see there's a little bit of a problem in spoiling the market. But okay, okay, we don't know how this will all work out. There's another point. The manufacturers, the, pro the processing industry of potatoes, they will, they are probably not so happy with such a plan. So. What they will do, they will try to shoot holes in that bastion if possible. And uh, you can imagine that they will try to get their potatoes from everywhere and that they will buy wherever they can buy cheap. So those, those growers who are just incidentally growing, they can spoil the whole market. They can just grow and they can, you know, f f make, make, make all the nice plants impossible. But on the other hand, we must be happy with this initiative of the farmers, of the Dutch potato growing farmers, because it is something they do. They are not just sitting down and, and, and start complaining about prices and we can do nothing about it and you know and so on and so on. No, they really take the cow with the horns as we say in the Netherlands and they try to 
divert their attention to a better plan and they are not just uh, wait and see. So I hope for them that this will come to a good end and I wish them all the luck. And one more thing, you know, potatoes, you can't store them for long if you don't manufacture them. So every year they have to start with a new year because the very modern uh, storage uh, possibilities are good. But at a certain moment, let's say if you you get your potatoes in the, in, in the, in the storage somewhere in October, then of course you can store them till the next year in May, June. But then after June, new potatoes are coming in, so you have to get rid of your old potatoes. And that's also a weak point, because manufacturers, they know every year, potato year, will be new. There's never, never, never a surplus hanging on the market, as you can see with, uh, with barley or with other seeds or whatsoever. The only thing is, we start fresh with a new year, but this time, probably, our Dutch potato farmers will start a new period in potato growing. Well, we wish them all the luck and I hope you all everywhere in the world will wish them the same luck and with the modern computer techniques they can of course very well organize uh, the acreage from every farmer and see also more or less the expected uh, yields. So probably it is something from which they can learn. Even when they don't succeed this year with the prices, they can learn something from the system and maybe at the end farmers are not laying completely on the end of the system. You know, they produce, but if you see if one kilo of potatoes what the farmer gets, and if you see what one kilo of potatoes in the shop is costing, there is such a big difference. And I, we think, and the farmers think, that that should be a bigger part for them. And I wish them all the luck, and I hope you all do the same. Goodbye, until next time.